Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. We'll briefly take a look at more plasma motions on our star. We'll see a climatological anomaly in the eastern world. There are yet more solar magnetic anomalies to cover. We'll take a look at a new textbook indicative of the changing perceptions in the scientific field. But we are starting with our star. And we find the last 24 hours were benign in terms of Earth-directed space weather, but not without items to see. Solar flaring remains relatively low. Both solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are relatively calm. We do have several smaller sunspots on the Earth-facing half, but they present sub-severe threats at this time. The main items of note were plasma motions near the North Polar Crown as the filaments destabilized, followed over on the left by a significant plasma eruption on the far side which we can see even from over here on the other side of the sun. Remember from previous videos, including last night's video, next overall uptick should begin near the end of the month. Let's go to Kyrgyzstan, where the lake that never freezes, froze. It's called the Warm Lake and is known for never freezing due to geothermal conditions and its significant depth. But alas, it couldn't stand up to the most recent cold wave, and it froze. Hopefully you caught this video of ours a couple days ago detailing the changes on the sun in terms of chemistry and its coronal magnetic fields. It's linked for you below if you missed it. But today, we hit yet another indication of those magnetic field anomalies. Nothing above 2,000 Gauss was expected, but they have detected several instances in the last few decades that actually hit double that power. Not surprisingly, each instance was associated with severe space weather events scientists should be learning to expect the unexpected. There's a new space weather textbook out with chapters on climate impact from weather up to the ionosphere and magnetosphere which can help us understand what's expected versus what we're seeing with the magnetic field changes on earth. It includes information on the recently understood global impacts of geomagnetically induced current which is strongest in the crust and even the societal and social impacts of space weather. This is fantastic as it represents another mark in the serious shift of the scientific field towards greater appreciation of the sun. However, if I may, it contains less information on those topics than Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, and the ebook is four times more expensive than ours. The ebook PDF of Weatherman's Guide is available at our Podia link below, and in fact, you can get all three of our academic texts for less than the price of that new space weather focused book. Link to those will be the first thing in the description box below. This is the foundation of this entire channel and best of all, no shipping, no wait. Get them instantly. We greatly appreciate your support. Again, all links to the observer resources are below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.